Hello friends, welcome to my channel GSM Fix for you. Today I am going to repair iPhone 7. It has a problem unable to activate and shut down. Dear friends, if you are new to my channel, then please don't forget to like, share and subscribe my channel. I get this phone to repair unable to activate state. When I asked to the customer what was happened, then the customer told me that it had a problem of network signal, then he reset the phone, then after this problem occurred. Now, first of all, disassemble the phone and took out the motherboard from this phone. We have to repair my hardware first, then we will repair software. All the disassembling process is finished and I am going to now to cause the BBPMU. It has unable to activate error so the BBPMU is related to this issue. Here you can see the BBPMU gives biasing voltage to BBCPU. When the BBCPU does not get the proper voltage, then the baseband related error appears. Due to the baseband error, the phone cannot be activated. In iPhone 7, on this case, it has a problem. No network. This time is to disassemble the BBPMU IC. Dear friends, if you are going to take out the IC, you must have to know the knowledge of how temperature is safe and the hot air gun also. In this case, I am using 350 degrees temperature and 80 hot air gun to remove BBPMU safely from the motherboard. Yes. Within one minute, I am able to take off this IC from the motherboard. If you are working with safe temperature, the chances of losing the IC pad is very rare. After removing the IC, you must have to clean the IC pad. To clean the IC pads, when you use the low temperature test, then the work will be very easy. However, in market, we can get 283 degrees soldering paste. If you are a new, if you are a beginner, then when you use the low temperature paste, like as 138 degrees Celsius, then you will realize more easy during the soldering processes and IC rebuilding process or installing process.
My cleaning the IC pads of motherboard is finished and now I am going to rebel, replace the old soldering paste with new one. Here I am using 183 degrees soldering paste. Friends, when you are going to reboiling the IC, you must have to replace the old paste with new one. Friends, every time you can't get the new IC, so in that case, sometimes you have to take the IC from the donor board. Here, I take this IC from the one another uh, donor board, so to, and I am going to install it on this board. I didn't get the new IC, so I am using this IC from the old donor board. Now the reboiling process. It's the 180 degrees, uh, 183 degrees Celsius solding paste, and I am going to reboil this. See how to reboil the ice. You can learn from this video. The IC rebuilding process is finished and now I am going to install this IC to my iPhone 7 unable to activate error board see how to install the IC I'll make the next video how to rebuild and install the IC for new commerce technician okay Now I am going to install this BBPMU on iPhone 7 motherboard. The trend, 
when you are going to install the IC then you must have to know one thing very importantly see here you can see one dot above the IC when you are installing the IC on any motherboard then you must have to put this dot sign on the same position of the IC if the dot sign is allocated to another side then the installing process of IC is also the error and the motherboard cannot be operated. All the IC disassembling, rebuilding, and installing process is finished. Now I am going to check the unable to activate error is fixed or not. Friends, let's see what's happened. No, unable to activation, activate is not fixed till now. Now you have to do one more thing. After installing the IC, then you, you must have to flash the iPhone one time. When you flash, then you can able to activate your iPhone. Now I am going to flashing the iPhone to 302. Here the flashing process is start and I am making the flashing process 16 x faster than normal time because it consume more 10 to 15 minutes time. Now the flashing process is finished and I am going to check is activated or not yes friends the unable to activate your is fixed by this way and and now use your iPhone normally We didn't face the problem unable to activate because the BBPMU has the all biasing supply to BBCPU. Thank you for watching my video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe my channel. I hope you get the proper solution from this video. For more video, please connect it with me by subscribing my channel. Thank you.